Hi, do you want to be able to send an SMS over 20 kilometers without using a mobile phone network? Here's one small project you can knock up in less than a day, allowing you to send an SMS over LoRa. And the crosstalk on the bottom lane looks pretty bad mm, this morning, yum. so you may have to take an alternate route. Next up on Nickmake FM is... LoRa is a great technology, allowing you to send messages very long distances. We've seen several attempts reaching over 200 kilometers and even 700 kilometers using low altitude balloons. However, around the suburbs with a decent antenna, you should be able to reach 20 kilometers comfortably. So how can you use LoRa to send messages long distances? The idea is pretty basic. You have two or more devices with onboard ESP32 and LoRa module. Each of the ESP32s will create a Wi-Fi access point. On your mobile phone or PC, you join to either one of the networks. Then point your browser at a web server running on the ESP32. This will give you a web interface allowing you to send messages over LoRa to the other module and back again. Easy. So what parts do we need for this? I chose DF Robot's ESP32 based Fire Beetle. It's similar to Adafruit's Feather, so you can use either. Whatever you choose, just make sure it has LiPo support. The LoRa module I used was from Banggood and was the RA02 module from AI Thinker. This one has a handy UFL connector for external antenna. Then there's the header pins that come with a fire beetle, and the strip board or vero board, external antenna, and since the LoRa module has two millimeter pitch castellated solar points, I need a converter to standard pitch. Oh, and there's also a LiPo battery. So I need to plan where to place all these components to make it as small as possible with the minimum amount of soldering. Placing the ESP32 here and the LoRa module here means we have the SPI interface on the right side, allowing easy connection of all the required signals. And then I can cut the board to size here. Although it turned out to be smaller than that. Then all that's needed is to Dremel out this bit. So first solder up the fire beetle. As always, I don't solder the modules directly to the PCB, but use headers so I can reuse parts later if needed. The two millimeter to 2.54 millimeter pitch adapter board was a little tricky, as this particular board was designed for XP modules, but I managed to get all the important bits soldered up. Then onto mounting up temporarily onto the strip board so I can mark out where to Dremel. Then solder, 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 and you should be left with something like this. Then cut the excess board off. You'll have to repeat this for the second module, but I won't bore you with that. Then onto soldering up all the signal wires, which is pretty easy as there's no crossovers. I could have soldered up all the other DIO lines from the LoRa module here, but since there's plenty of spare GPIOs, I can do that later. I only need DIO0 and SPI signals. Then chuck on the LoRa module, Fire Beetle, and lastly the external antenna. See. Next I write up some simple firmware using several Arduino libraries. Check out my website for details. <laughs> yeah, nice going Mick. What? Once I went through a whole lot of boring testing, I came up with some basic firmware that I flashed to both devices which allowed me to connect to one of them from my phone and the other on my Mac. Then I could type in messages on one side and have them send over LoRa to the other side. Pretty cool, eh? Now bear in mind that this is a direct device to device link and it doesn't use technologies like LoRaWAN. I wanted to keep it as simple as possible. Note also that it's a pretty simple application. I plan to update the firmware to make it more robust and add features like low power modes, flash storage of messages, and maybe a mobile app instead of using a web browser. So stay tuned for updates on this project. Thanks for watching, and see you next week. And that's it for another episode. Don't forget to check out my website for further details, and thanks for watching.